It's been a little while. <clears throat> I recorded the first two episodes like I recorded the first half of the first episode like three or four weeks ago, and then I recorded the second half like two weeks ago. So it's been a little while. Um, but straight away I want to do this because that's actually a way better item. Do I already have a? No, I've just been putting whatever wherever. Um, that changes now. Also, you're gonna <clears throat> you're gonna have to pardon me. Um, I've I've been sick. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> I, nobody knows why, do they? Has there ever been a person who's been like, oh, here's why I'm sick? No, it just it, it just kind of happens that way, and then you live with it. Actually, I don't have a bow, so I could probably put my arrows away, couldn't I? Because I can stick the stars in that slot. Thank you to the guy in the comments who pointed that one out. Um, also, a similar... I think it might have been the same guy, or it might have been a different guy. Point out, the Arcalis is the better version of the Enchanted Sword, so... Because it does that. If I need actual damage, I can switch out to the pickaxe X. Yeah. I need running shoes. <clears throat> um, I should... Um, all the chests in the dungeon are randomized, but there's just so many of them that it's... It's definitely... It's still worth your time to head that way. Oh, this is unrelated, but Minecraft is getting an update. Um, nether stuff. That's looking really cool. I was hoping they'd add more, like, civilization-y type of stuff to, um, to the nether. And they are. So, you know, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's the morning. So I'm just gonna have to find a, something to do with my time. There we go. Ah! Arcalis? Arcalis's hood. I don't have a yo-yo yet, so I'll just increase my jump height. I, I don't know what a poltergeist is, but I'll take it. Like, I know what it is, but I've, I don't... I couldn't tell you what the Terraria enemy is like, where you'd fight it. No clue. So, you know, that's exciting. The cool part with Arcalis is you can just kind of... Am I even pronouncing that right? I've got to be pronouncing that right. But, uh, at the same time, like, I'm just reminded of Guver. <clears throat> you look at all those letters together, and you try to pronounce it phonetically in your head. You've never seen the word before? You're going to say Guer. That, is, that isn't right, apparently. So... You know, maybe, instead of getting really persnickety with um, people who have literally never heard a word said before in their entire life, and they're trying to pronounce it for the first time ever, maybe appreciate that everybody comes from slightly different places in the world, and sometimes you don't have the benefit of being able to hear the English language said out loud specific words in like focusing especially on specific words right at the moment like I don't spend time around gun people most gun people are dicks so gun names I don't know I just I read it and I say what I read is it correct no but you do you, do you know what I'm talking about yes so was it that big of a deal? I'm gonna say no. Language is relative. All words are invented. As long as people know what you're talking about, it's fine. And that's like, that's the problem I have when people are like, well, what if I pronounce every word as balloon? Oh, well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, all language is relative. As long as people know what you're talking about, that's the, that's the big key difference. I pronounce it Gewer. I can have a conversation with people who pronounce it Gewer. We both know what we're talking about. I don't have a hammer. You need a hammer to break these. I don't have a hammer. This is gonna be dumb. I'm just gonna build a work table and then 
build a hammer. Oh boy, musket balls! Oh boy, a crimson rod. Such fantastic weapons and equipment. The best I'll ever have for the time being. Definitely have no way to get better equipment. Definitely no sir. Bob. Jim. Ellis. Christopher. Why is that spawning skeletons? Now this is a this is a nice dungeon you got here, Mr. Skeletron. But if I had to be oh if I had to be picky, there's just a couple things I would change. And um, the first one is you really don't need this big old castle front part right here. Uh, let's just bring that nice right down right there. That's perfect. Um, second, these little things are obnoxious. Um, we, you don't need them. Um, there we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, just one more quick change. I'm just gonna... Don't mind me. I'm just... Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, there is one more little change I'm gonna make, and it's just... You know, most people say <clears throat> your ceiling only needs to be a block th uh, thick. So if we just make the ceiling a block thick, then everything will be fine. Alright. There, that's looking pretty good. Um... I just have one more quick little change I'm gonna make. Nothing too big, you'll barely notice in here. Oh, hold on. Okay. Um, so far so good. Uh, just one more quick little change. Nothing too serious going on here. Just, I don't know how much a roof you think you need, but um, the, the American Homeowner um, Manual says you don't need any roof at all. Um, it's fine. Facts and statistics have pointed out that the, the less um, wall you have, the better. And then I'm just gonna real quick... There we go. There we go. How you feeling, buddy? Your house is looking great. Look at, look at that. Who says that a, 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 a dungeon needs anything? Nobody says that. Look at this. This is perfect. This is the pinnacle of design. How do you feel? And I thought you'd say something like that. Okay. Uh, I've got a golden coin. Um... Actually, while I'm here. I need a better hammer. Wow, okay. Didn't expect that one, but I'll take it. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, we got the stars. Ah. Here's not here's a thought. While well, we got all these. There we go. We'll be able to see them nice and bright and bold. Alright, um so battle plan, I am I'm just gonna take Um the rocket launcher and the the shotgun and just go to town. Actually I'm gonna swap these two because I forgot I picked up all the musket balls and it put them in that inventory. Because I've got, I've got 40 defense. And my melee attack from this thing will be able to light on fire a whole bunch. So, I don't know. I think this can go pretty good. I've got a bunch of health. I've got a bunch of potions. i got five potions. Got to keep that in mind. Um, if the Eye of Cthulhu shows up tonight, that'll be weird. But I guess I can do it. The, the, the light of day? Dude... My guy, I don't know if you know what time it is. Ho, oh, I was joking. All right. I was I was I was straight joking with you.
Alright. Uh, it is occurring to me I might not have actually a lot of uh, good weaponry for this fight. I've got to make sure I'm out of range of the rocket explosions. Which is not... Um, I, I didn't take that into consideration as much as I probably should have, in all honesty. Um, luckily, Rocket 3 is a pretty good rocket for... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, we're out of Discord. Uh-oh. Oh, I just resized that window. God dang it. I, it's because I resized the window. Ah. Nope. How is that recording? Is that recording good? I guess it is. Mm, that doesn't make me feel good. Uh-oh. Okay, well, the Eye of Cthulhu is here now, so we can fight that instead. It doesn't have anything for me. It's just... It's just an eye. Wow! Um... Okay. Oh, did it transform? Yes, it did. Look at that DPS, baby. That lagged the game. I forgot it could do that. That was frightening. That was actually frightening. Uh, I don't play expert mode enough. It sounds like Tim Allen. Uh -huh. I can build the meatball. <laughs> oh, Douglas. Douglas, you want a bite of this meatball? All right. Um, we're gonna go find a. Th we're just gonna go underground, and find more boxes, and hope that what we find contains weapons. Cause I need better melee weapons. I've quickly discovered. I've got a decent uh, firearm, but firearms aren't everything. Plus, I was blowing myself up the rocket launcher, so if I can find something better than the shotgun, I think we will be in business. It's not even the shotgun, it's the, the boomstick, which is the, the normal mode variant. It's not good, but it's not bad for the difficulty you find it on. If I can get like an Uzi, an Uzi would an Uzi would help a lot. Um Nothing down there, but that's a good place to start digging. W Ooh, there is something down there. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take all this. I can build a clock. I should probably build a clock. Things are coming up Millhouse now. Okay, so every time it lags, it's because Steam is trying to connect to Destiny 2 and finish downloading the game. Um, it's not out yet. Um, or at least the relaunch hasn't happened. But it keeps trying to connect because it wants to finish downloading, and that's where my lag comes from. The more you know. Yeah, I would be stupid not to pick all these up. That was just a, that was just a stutter. That wasn't like, like Destiny lag or anything, that was just the game stuttering. Because it does that. There we go. Alright, what's in the box? Never mind. Don't need to build a clock anymore. Armor polish is good. I'll take some dressers and tables. Uh, I will release that grasshopper because that is mean. Be free, little buddy. How do I get him out? Do I gotta place it and then punch? Huh. 
Huh, that's mean. I don't feel good about that. Out of the way. Beep beep, bastard coming through. Something happened there. Now I'm all ice cold. Okay. Probably drain that, but... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Th this is definitely less obnoxious than the, the constant beeping of using the other thing, but... I don't know by how much less is the problem. Uh, new house. Oh. Well, that solves that problem. Yeah. Skeletron's dead. Look at this. How the heck is he gonna compete? He can't. It's impossible. Who is throwing pots and pans around in one of these apartments? I'm hearing loud metallic clatters out of the corner of my ears. Who could it be? And why are they doing it? It's 6 a.m., so not Skeletron fighting time yet, but it will be soon. Um, in the meantime, I should probably... Jesus Christ, Steam. Quit it. Destiny 2 isn't out yet. Everybody knows that. Why are you checking every minute? You're like the kid in the car who's asking, Oh, are we there yet? Mom, Dad, are we at Burger King? I want the chicken nugget. That's what children sound like, I think. Can I just... I should have just... I should have just done this to begin with. Um... It's like the story of the old man who had to get medication to his family and he had to go around a big old mountain and he just cut straight through it instead. That works. It's meta. Hey man, oh you're back! Look at that. How, what, what good fortune. Um, you know, I, I've done some reading. God dang it, Destiny, it's not time yet. I don't, I don't know why he's giving me such a, like, a weird look. This is a perfect design for a dungeon. It's, it's neo-minimalist. It's the, the hot new trend. It's sweeping Paris. Walls, floors, su for suckers. Nobody needs those. One floor, that's it. You don't need any other materials. You don't need ceilings, you don't need books. You don't even need a light switch anymore. Look at that. This is the pinnacle. This is the tops. And I'm looking forward. Destiny. Please, for the love of God. You're, there is no update. I feel like Wheatley at the end of Portal 2. Nobody's going to space, mate! It, it, uh. If I were Skeletron and some schmuck just showed up and started, um you know, doing this to my house, I'd be thrilled. You know, Neo Minimalist is the future of design. And, you know, this thoughtful, um, this thoughtful young boy did everything he could in his power, in his power, to improve the aesthetical qualities of my dungeon. See, I don't know why he'd be mad at me. If anything, I should just be getting the, the treasure bag from Skeletron immediately, because this is exactly what we want as a society, as a species. It's, it's a criticism of the bourgeoisie and the proletariat systems they have us uh, subjected to um, as a society. You know, the bourgeoisie says your house should look like this, it should contain this, it, sh it should accomplish all of these things. And what happens when it doesn't? You know? Nobody asks that question. We just assume, you know, a man's house reflects how they're doing inside. So when the house is nothing, what does that say about the man inside? Precisely, it says nothing. And consumerism and the 1%'s tactics, they want you to think it means something. Everything means something. Your job means something. Um, 
community service work is political. Um, <clears throat> the brands you support is political. But yet... What the f Destiny, I swear to God. Is there a way to just... To throw it up in there and then pause? No. There is no way. Pause. Yes, there is a way. But the bourgeoisie, they want you to believe that um, everything you do is political, but... <clears throat> More than that, politics is brands. So the act of modern American politics is rooted in brand culture. The NRA supports one political party. The other political party is supported heavily by the pharmaceutical companies. And the college uh, tuition companies. And because none of us can truly be free of of a corporate society, your house begins to reflect the corporate society you live in. Okay, thank god, I can actually fight Skeletron now. I was running out of things to say. Oh, he's toast. Oh, he's toast. He's toast. Buttered toast. Eat nanites, bitch. No, no, no. Six, five, four, three, two, one, yeah! Got a Skeletron mask, got a Skeletron hand, got a Skeletron shelf. No, that was it. Alright, into the dungeon.